Good morning, everyone. Tuesday morning, I am back to work, and here is what I'm taking with me for beverages, lunch, and snack. My coffee for zero smart points with one tablespoon of Dairy Star fat-free half and half for zero smart points. My tea this morning is Teeny Bloom, which is almost gone, um, but Teeny Bloom is one tablespoon for zero smart points. I have it in my tea tumbler with some lemon juice for zero smart points. So coffee and tea are zero. Lunch today is some leftovers of the chicken and gravy that I made last week. I have this over spaghetti squash in the bottom and then the chicken and gravy mixture. I also added some mixed um, frozen vegetables. So the chicken and gravy mixture is one smart point and the spaghetti squash is zero. And my snacks today, I have some jello that's set up this time. All right. So inside the jello is some diced mango. So mango is zero smart points and the jello is sugar-free jello for zero smart points. And then I have a pear to eat on the way home. So everything is zero smart points today except the chicken and gravy mixture is one smart point. So everything I'm having before dinner tonight will be one point. Good morning everyone and welcome back to my regular work week and as I always say every week I'm so glad to be back to my regular schedule. This was a crazy weekend, a crazy long weekend, four days of splurges and eating out and drinking more and literally just not caring for the most part. So I am very excited to get back on track today. I am very much wanting to de-bloat and feel better and just eat my real food, my food that I prepare, that I like to eat. Um, so I'm very excited to get back on track. So a lot of you guys ask a lot of time, how do you get back on track once you've been off the rails and splurging. Well, this is exactly the scenario that I am in right now. Um, I have been, I guess you would call it off track for four days. I don't, you know, I still try to count. I still try to watch my points. I still feel like I'm doing the Weight Watchers program, but I am not, um, definitely not in weight loss mode. Um, but I definitely need to pull back, reel it in, and get myself right and stay within my points. So the way I'm going to do it, you guys, is you just have to do it. You have to decide in your mind, okay, it's time. I've had enough. I guess you kind of just get to the breaking point where you're just, okay, that's enough. That was fun. It tasted good, and that's just enough. I want to feel better. I want to feel... Um, I want to feel lighter and um, in control. I don't feel like I'm out of control, but I want to um, have more control over what I'm putting in my mouth and not be out and about so much where I am at a restaurant or I'm here or there. If I'm home, then I know what I've made, what I'm putting in my body. It's just um, I, a lot of times, honestly, it's just a lot easier. I know that eating out is a huge part of life. It's a huge part of my life. So it's something that you have to figure out, but it is a lot easier at home. So I am ready to jump back on this wagon. I am ready to pull back to my 23 points per day. I'm so ready for that. And here's how I'm going to do it. Number one, I'm just going to do it. I just have to do it. Number two, I'm still going to focus on points and the blue dot range. I'm not going to focus on my weight. I have not weighed all weekend. I did not weigh this morning. Today is my weigh-in day and I actually, I'm still on the fence about weighing in because I don't need to know the number. I don't want to know the number. It's not my focus right now. I know that my weight is going to be up. I can feel it. I'm bloated. My clothes are tight. So do I need to know the specific number? Not really. Um, but, and I actually wore jeans today because I didn't plan on weighing in. On the other hand, I also kind of want to see like a starting point. Like now I'm going to really buckle down and um, get my numbers back where they need to be. So it would be interesting to have a starting point for that and to see what kind of good I can do for myself. I know what kind of damage I can do. Now let's see what kind of good I can do for myself when I stay within my points range. So in that respect, it would be nice to have a starting point just 
a bit of data, just data. That's all it is. It's not going to define who I am today. Um, I know who I am today, and it's not a scale number. So, so the jury is out as to whether I will weigh in tonight. I, I think I probably will at this point, which is so funny because literally for the past few days, I'm like, I'm not going to weigh. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Um, it still doesn't matter, but I just want to have a, what, what do you call that? A reference point. I want to have a reference point. It's going to be skewed anyway because number one, I've been eating over my points all weekend. Number two, I have jeans on. Um, so it's going to be a little bit skewed, but I want to have that reference point because not only am I going to knuckle down and try to stay within my points, within my blue dot range, at least for this week and ongoing for as long as I can, but I also want, um, I am probably at this point 100% sure going to do the Timmy Detox, the 30 day detox. Um, I actually ordered it last week and so it should be coming either today or tomorrow. It should be coming soon. So as soon as that arrives, I'm going to do the 30 day Timmy Detox. Um, the T Detox, it's the one with the Timmy Skinny that you drink every day and the Timmy Colon that you drink every other day. So I will be doing that for a month. Um, also still prepping for the marathon. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I totally skipped that 18 mile run. Yep, I sure did. I just did not feel like doing it. I didn't feel like it. So I'm going to be doing a long run this week on the treadmill, um, just 12 miles because that's all I can deal with on the treadmill. So I'm gonna be doing kind of a makeup long-ish run. And then on Sunday, I need to do the real long run. And now I've got to decide, am I doing 18 miles or 23 miles? <laughs> it only goes up from there. So there's that. So. <clears throat> three things I want to focus on. I want to get my blue dots right now. I really want to get my blue dots. So in my mind right now, it's all a numbers game. It's all a numbers game. I can have whatever I want, but it needs to fall within my numbers. So I'm going to be skewing the numbers, playing around with my numbers, seeing what I want to have, how I can make this fit, how I can make that fit, and just um, playing with my menus a little bit and just making it work. I want it to work within the blue dot. So it's going to be absolutely a numbers game for me right now. And when I think of it in those terms as numbers, it's just numbers. It's just a game. It's, it's making the numbers fit. Then it, it works. It's fine. It's not, it doesn't become weight loss or a diet or anything. It's just a numbers game. So it's actually kind of fun for me to see how I can make all the puzzle pieces fit between what I want to eat and what I want to drink and how am I going to make that fit within my numbers game. So that's my number one goal. Number two, I'm going to be doing the Timmy T Detox starting within the next couple days. And number three, I need to get back to running some real miles for the marathon. The marathon is in, I believe, five weeks. It's either, I think it's five weeks. <laughs> so that's a little scary. Um, it might be four weeks at this point. Holy smokes. So I need to get my butt in gear for that. So that's where I'm at this morning, you guys. And I thought I would come on here in the morning on my way to work because work is going to be crazy today. I don't know if I'm going to be taking my breaks. Um, oh, back to my other two goals and challenges. The 16,000 steps a day, I will still be trying for that. However, Tuesdays, I'm usually not able to hit that just because it's just too crazy at work. I have very limited breaks and I go to Weight Watchers immediately after work. So Tuesdays are typically my days not to really hit my 16,000 step goal. But for the rest of the week, I will still be trying for that. And then my one mile run per day, I'm gonna be going back to that. Um, it was kind of nice not to worry about that and not to have to run all weekend, but I know once I get on the treadmill at lunch today and do that one mile run, it's going to feel really good. It's going to feel really good. I am the kind of person that if I, I can't go more than a few days without getting a really good sweat and a really good workout, 
um, because it just I start to feel gross and bloated and heavy and then it affects me mentally so I know the run this afternoon is gonna be awesome so I am doing my one mile run at lunch today I'm gonna try to get back into my one mile runs per day um, so yeah I don't bite off a lot do I that's not a few goals um, so let me I gotta run this down in my mind again for myself number one first and foremost the blue dots the numbers game I need blue dots number two the teamy T detox number three training for the marathon number four 16,000 steps and number five running a mile a day okay those are my goals you guys that's what I'm after um, if you have any suggestions for me or any help or motivation lay it on me um, because I could certainly use it as you know when you are trying to get back on program or back within your points after not being in your points for a while it can get a little challenging so I, I hope it doesn't because I love the food that I eat when I am eating my regular weekly food my on point food I love what I eat and I feel satisfied and happy with it so I don't I'm hoping that there is no trouble trouble getting back and then also one other thing I just wanted to say is that I I really am also looking forward to getting back within my points because I don't want to be one of those people that preaches and then goes completely off the rails. I don't want to preach and teach and tell you guys what you should do and do this and do that and I'm an expert on the program and blah 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 and then I'm off doing my own thing. I don't want to be that kind of person. I don't feel like I am because I know that although I am not always within my points range, I am still always following the Weight Watchers program. In my mind, I am on the Weight Watchers program. I still look for my low points foods. I still look for zero points foods. I still try to track and add the numbers. I am doing the Weight Watchers program because I am Weight Watchers for life, you guys, for life. It's not a diet to me, it is a lifestyle, and that's what I wanna to portray to you guys. So I don't wanna be the bad seed that's trying to say, yeah, this is how I live, this is how I live, and then on the side, I'm not living like that. So. Um, I hope you guys don't take that away from my splurge weekends. That's not what I'm about. I am still, underneath it all, I am still on the Weight Watchers program. So um, I hope you guys can see that and recognize that. And now it's time to be on the Weight Watchers program within my 23 smart points. So actually my range is 13, which is never a problem to get to 13. And it's, so it's 13 to 28. <clears throat> so if I am over this week, um, know that I'm trying to stay in the range between 13 to 28, even though my daily target is 23 smart points. And that is the idea behind the blue dot range. So I'm super thankful that all my points started over today. Today is weigh-in day. So I'm at ground zero and so happy about that because I had I did not track everything I ate this weekend I was just too like all over the place and so busy I know it's possible and I am a huge advocate of tracking as best you can looking up something similar um, estimating if you have to I am a huge proponent of that because I think it's huge to actually know and kind of have a range of where you are but I got a little lost this weekend I was too busy too much different food and I, I mean it is possible to track what you don't know but it takes time to look it up and estimate is this it is that it and I just didn't have the time you guys could probably tell um, by when all of my videos went up this weekend that I was pretty low on time this weekend. So anyway, that is me this morning. I've rambled on for 13 minutes. I'm sorry, but I feel like I wanted to have a heart to heart with you guys and let you know where I stand, what my plans are, what I'm doing. And um, I don't know 
I at this point I'm pretty sure I am gonna weigh in but I don't know if I should share the number with you guys because I don't want to be a big disappointment and I don't I personally don't want to focus on the number so I don't know if I even want to just put it out there I want to have it right now as a reference point so that in two weeks I can look at it not necessarily today so um, I don't know I may briefly mention it to you I may show you my book for those of you that are really interested in knowing you're gonna have to really watch for it if I don't say it um, I haven't decided yet but at this point I am um, pretty sure I will just at least get the data jeans and all so here we go guys let's have an awesome week by the way everyone who's doing the step challenge you guys are still rocking it you're doing amazing today I'm going to look back over um, last week and I will put down in the description box everyone who hit their goal six days out of seven for the second week in February you guys will all earn a drawing into the prize drawing at the end of the month so I will put all of the people who hit their goal six out of seven days for week one because I know some of you guys were not on the list and I will put down all of the guys all you guys who hit their goal six days out of seven for week two and those are the people that get an entry into the drawing so I want to cut this off drive to work I'll see you guys at some point today at some point Okay, I managed to escape from my first walk break of the day. Here's my outfit of the day. Honestly, I did not even care what I looked like this morning. I was just warmth. I just need the warmest thing in my closet because I have been so super cold. So I didn't care. I just wanted something warm. And this is, it's okay. It's uh, 59 degrees out right now, so it's still, it's much warmer than it was yesterday. Oh my gosh. I'm listening to the last hour of this book. Um, the woman at the window, and you guys, it's so good. I gotta go, cause I gotta finish this right now. I know I totally go in phases, but I am totally in a book phase right now. I was listening to podcasts for quite a while, and now I just can't get enough of these books. Like, The Woman at the Window was fabulous. I loved it. That is definitely my style of book. The suspense, not necessarily... Ugh, never mind. I don't want to give it away at all. It's not... Um, I'm not necessarily all detective, gory, bloody murder stuff, but just like suspense and I don't know how to describe it, but that one was really good. And now I am listening to James Patterson, The Murder House. And this one's really good too. And it just like started off with a bang. So man, I'm like all about audiobooks right now. Like I want to take a, a break from work. I want to go do my walk breaks just so I can listen to my books. So they're that good. And I want to run so I can listen to my audiobooks. 
Anyway, I'm super excited because as I expected, I did get my Timmy Detox today. I got the Timmy Skinny. I love this one. I love Timmy Skinny. It's just so mild and um, I don't love the flavor of green tea. So I love that this is so mild. And then I just add a little bit of lemon juice and I'm good to go. And I love that it uh, de-bloats you. It helps satisfy cravings. It helps fill my stomach when I'm hungry. It gives me energy. I love Timmy Skinny. And then I got my Timmy Colon. Timmy Skinny you take every day and Timmy Colon you take every other day. So I'm actually going to do this um, three days a week rather than every day. They actually give you, um, it comes with like a little thing that you can check check off your days so you can keep track of which days you're doing the Timmy Colon. I'm just gonna do it on Tuesday, Thursday, and Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday nights um, because I can't be I can't be walking to work on a Saturday morning and not know if I need to use the restroom. And I'm hoping to do long runs on Sunday morning, so I can't um, be worried about any kind of bathroom thing then. So Sunday night, Tuesday night, and Thursday nights are gonna be my nights for Timmy Colon. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna start it tomorrow. If you guys want to start or want to do the Timmy it's a 30 day detox. Um, check my description box because I do have a coupon code for you. It's worth 15% off the tea detox. So I highly recommend it. I love it and I am ready for it. I haven't done a tea detox since November, um, since I, I did it like the month before Thanksgiving. So I'm definitely ready for it. I'm feeling, um, I, I'm feeling I need a cleanse. So I also got this Timmy Focus. So that is only the, I think Timmy does two black teas. I didn't even know that Timmy Focus was a black tea. Um, the Timmy Bloom is a black tea and I love it. And then the Timmy Focus is also a black tea and I believe it has hints of peppermint or mint of some sort. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to love that. Um, but I wanted to try it and I want to see, man, anything that can help me focus I need because I am one of those people that my brain is just everywhere because I have so much going on in my life um, and I'm always trying to multitask and get a million things done and my thoughts are literally just everywhere so anything can, that can help me focus I'm all about that so I think it will be really interesting do you remember um, back when they discovered that ginkgo biloba was good for mental clarity I never really took it because I just I think at that point I didn't really believe in um, herbal supplements to help your um, your your natural health of your body I don't think I really believed in it at that point I do now I absolutely do now so I never took ginkgo biloba so I think there is ginkgo in this um, teamy focus so I think it will be really interesting to see if I can really like tell a difference that will be interesting anyway I will probably not have that because like one or two cups of tea a day is really all I can handle because I'm really just a coffee wine person. Um, so one cup of tea a day is plenty. So I probably won't have the tea me focus until after I'm done with the tea detox. So, but anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know I am starting that tomorrow. I'm excited and if you guys want to join me, check the description box for a discount code. So I'm on my way to Weight Watchers right now. I'm gonna get my starting data my reference data for this little uh, teamy detox and you know what I did not I think I lost maybe a pound or two last time or the first time I did the teamy de detox I think I you know I always lose a little bit but my weight just fluctuates so much all the time anyway that um, sometimes it lasts and sometimes it doesn't so even if I don't lose anything from doing the detox I feel like the benefits are just excellent anyway so um, that's where I stand but if you're looking to lose weight I have heard from many many people who have lost like three to five pounds um, doing the teamy detox so that's good if that's what you're looking for um, I highly recommend it anyway I am now on my way to Weight Watchers and I will check in with you guys after the meeting
Okay, so weigh-in, as expected, was nothing too exciting. I put a screenshot of my weigh-in sticker in the video for those of you that are interested. It is not, um, it's not a good weigh-in, but I weighed with jeans. I weighed with jeans, I weighed with two shirts on, and I weighed after four days of excessive eating and drinking. So I'm okay with it. Um, it is my data kind of starting point for the week and for being refreshed and renewed. So I'm literally just not even thinking about it. I did want to tell you guys one thing that my leader ended the meeting with. She said, being hungry is different than being hungry for. Uh -huh. Right? Think about it. Are you hungry? Or are you just hungry for pizza? Are you hungry for a brownie? Are you hungry for this, hungry for that? Or are you just hungry? Being hungry is different than being hungry for. I love that. I'm gonna think about that a lot this week. Anyway, I am headed to the store. I am literally just having, I have this black bean soup that I made a few months ago that I accidentally dumped a whole bunch of black pepper in it's not the best black bean soup in the world, but I refuse to throw it out. <laughs> so I'm trying to have like one serving of it a week just to kind of get it used up and just to have it on days when it uh, makes dinner easier for me. So tonight I'm having black bean soup on a baked potato. Just, um, I love potatoes. So um, the black bean soup on the potato should be good. So that's just very easy heat up dinner. But I'm also making a cheesecake recipe tonight that I'm trying and oh man, I can't even remember now the name. I got it off of Instagram and I got it because, is it Kim and Kelly, the twins? Yeah, I can't remember. The twins from the Skinny on Weight Loss recommended it. Um, I There are points in it because it uses eggs non-fat yogurt, uh, jello, fat-free, sugar-free cheesecake pudding, and some sweetener, and almond flavoring or vanilla flavoring, which does have points. So it uses those ingredients, there are points, but when you split it up between eight servings, it is zero smart points per serving. So I am making that um, tonight. It needs to stay. Once you bake it, it has to refrigerate for at least two hours or overnight. So I'm not eating it tonight, um, but I am kind of excited to make that. And I'm gonna have cheesecake for my snack tomorrow. That sounds kind of awesome. So I hope it turns out because literally when I used to be on Atkins and low carb, I can't even tell you how many cheesecakes I tried to make that did not turn out. So I hope this one tastes good. Anyway, that is my plans for tonight. So I'm headed to Albertsons to get a few groceries because I don't know how, but I forgot to get the groceries for it. And while I'm there, I'm going to check and see if they have craft fat-free singles. You guys keep asking me and I'm sorry, I keep telling you, but they don't make them anymore. They don't make craft fat-free singles anymore. I am on my very last package. I think I literally have three or four slices left. And I'm hearing rumors that they may be bringing it back because a couple people are finding them. So Albert, Albertsons was one place where I was getting them fairly regularly before. So I hope they have them. If they do, I will report back. And if you never hear from me again about it, they didn't have it. Okay guys, so here is the cheesecake I told you I was going to make. This, the way I made it, is um, eight servings, zero smart points per serving. It is um, slightly almond flavored because I used a tiny bit of almond flavoring. And then I'm going to just top it with sliced strawberries and some sugar-free chocolate syrup. So here's what I put in the cheesecake. You mix together um, three eggs four packets of sweetener, and an eighth a teaspoon of almond flavoring. Then add to that three, oh, I think you then put in the Jello cheesecake pudding, the fat-free, sugar-free Jello cheesecake pudding. Mix it all up and then add three cups of non-fat Greek vanilla yogurt. I used Faye, and that's it. So blend it all up and bake it at 350 for 30 minutes then you have to refrigerate it at least two hours 
but overnight is better. So if you guys want the recipe, I'll try to put that in the description box tonight. And if I forget, just ask me, I will type it out for you. And then here is a whole batch of some curried chicken stew that Eddie made for me for my lunches. Oh my gosh, it is so good. So I'm not sure, but I think he may have done a cook with me on that. So hopefully, um, if he did not, I will at least get you guys the recipe because I did pry his little brain. I pried it out of his brain. <laughs> anyway, he did super good. It's so delicious. So this is what's going on in the kitchen tonight. Okay guys, here is my dinner tonight. You can't see it, but under Beneath this, I have 200 grams of baked potato. 200 grams is five smart points. On top of that, this is that super peppery black bean soup. It is all zero smart points. There is some chicken, some corn, black beans, and some fire roasted tomatoes, and a lot of pepper. So that is zero smart points. So everything on my plate is five smart points. And then there is my Bellini for 18 smart points. Um, grapefruit pompolini with frozen grapes so 18 points for that and five for my dinner lunch today was two points one point um, lunch today was one point so that puts me at exactly 24 smart points for my day 24 smart points equals one blue dot yay Julie.